Transporter bridges are very rare. There have been approximately 20 such structures built in total in the world. Of these, only six bridges have survived to this day. Three are in the UK, with only two still working, operational. This is one of them. The second name for such bridges is Ferry Bridges, and here's why. The principle of the transporter bridge is really like a ferry crossing. The platform with people and cars goes back and forth, from one shore to another, not on the water. It moves on the cables attached to one or more mobile platforms at the top. I don't have the heart to name this design modern, but in fact, this industrial retro style is its main advantage. The Newport Transporter Bridge was built at the beginning of the last century at the request of the owner of the local steel plant, John Lysacht. The production of steel was to be located on one side of the river, and all the workers lived, well, naturally, on the other side, in the city. He came down to have a look and he said, oh, well, how do they get you? Well, there's either a four-mile detour around the Castle Bridge, or there's the ferry going across. The height of the tides uh, are the second highest in the world in this area of the United Kingdom. Uh, they looked into uh, swing bridges and conventional bridges, and none of these options were, were viable. Too expensive, possibly too costly to life. So somebody had heard about um, Arden and Ferdinand. Um, he was a French um, engineer. For more than its 100-year history, this bridge has changed little. It's only that earlier it was an actively used ferry, and now it's become a tourist attraction. The gondola of this transporter bridge can carry six cars and 120 passengers. It takes the gondola two minutes to cover the distance from one shore to the other, which is 181 meters. Ferry bridges have the lowest traffic capacity among all movable bridges. But their design is unusual, and despite their rather large size, they have an amazing elegance. So it will continue to live? Hopefully it will continue. It's uh, supported by Newport City Council uh, people. Whether they'll want to take it on, I don't know. I'd like to think that it will continue uh, working uh, for the future of Newport to be one of the best attractions in the area.